Hello! Hi, Sam! How are you doing? Oh, wait, why the fuck the game do that? Hello! How are you doing today? And I just noticed my, uh... That is still muted. Let me fix that. Stop doing that whenever I click in the game! Jesus Christ! Let me actually change that. Da, da, da. Today we are playing a game called Love Sam. It is an indie game about, uh, I guess, high school romance. High school romance and we get to read a diary. That's all I know so far. And apparently it's pretty spooky by the sounds of it. Okay, I'm just testing the sensitivity. Holy shit. Holy shit! Gamma's fine. Volume, it's pretty quiet. Let's lower the sensitivity a little. But yeah, all I know is we are reading this diary here. My dirty little secrets. Read on to move on. No, let me, let me read. It, come on. Wait, I can write? Oh, thank God. Okay, finally. All right, let's read our saucy little secrets. The last human on earth was sitting alone in a room. There came a knock at the door. I've never cared for keeping a diary, but now it seems to be a good time to start keeping one. Why? Because after all these years, I just can't forget about what I, what used to be the light of my life. I know, overdramatic much? Knowing Brian Colmer as much as I did is bound to leave that big chunk of residue. Let's just say this diary is what's left of our relationship. Are we, Sam? Because Brian, Brian is uh, the boyfriend, it sounds like. So we must be the character Sam in this title. Three years, no, three years have passed and the world around me is still the same. Well, except for me. Except for me, I look like a mummified corpse. What would B say if he saw me again? Oh! <laughs> B left Rosen Peak the moment he graduated high school to go to a fancy college of his dreams. Since then, I could only rely on my memories of him to keep on going. I wonder if it was the same for him too. When you love someone, this whole existence, the, 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 existence just gets etched into your brain. So no matter how much B changes, I will always know it's him. But will B do the same for me? I know B liked me a lot too, but he was not the most likely person to remember stuff. And you know what? Same. <laughs> Can relate. Considering how long three years felt for me, it's possible he did forget about me. Or am I giving him too little credit? Here comes the big qu- Hello? Who's making noises in my house? Will he remember me? No. Wait. Wait, do I have to circle? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Will he remember us? I mean, probably. Yeah. Yeah. He will remember me. Who am I kidding? It's B we're talking about. We don't have the most perfect relationship, but he won't just dump his memory of me down the toilet or something. He's too much of a nice guy for that. And don't forget cute. I just hope our time together was meaningful enough to him. Enough to make him cherish even the darkest ones. Speaking of cherishable memories, I wonder what happened to Joe's Diner. It used to be my favorite place, naturally, because it was B's favorite place to begin with. There were two things that were too good for Rosen Peak. It would be Brian and Joe's Diner. Home of best pancakes in the world! I mean, I doubt it. it 
burger pancake. Now why I want pancakes, Jesus Christ. Thanks, Brian. Things were so much easier back then. B could just say, hey, and I would be like, hey. Nothing but hang out after that and some occasional visits to Colton Hill. It's such a good thing going. Will he remember my voice? Will he say, hey? Brian? Brian? Oh, did I just hang up? Oopsie. Stop! Get the fuck out of here! Scam calls. Did time already ruin our moments? Stop! Fine! What the fuck do you- Oh, my phone's dying. Yes! What? Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Alright, back to reading my saucy little secrets. I just wanted to say hello to them every time I called him, but what I want to do and can are always two different things. As always. Just enjoying B's presence on the other side of the phone was satisfying too, in a way though. Hey! I imagined him eagerly waiting to hear something other than my breath. I. I wish I could sneak into people's minds. <laughs> ah! Ah! What the fuck? Why do I have frickin' bars on my window? What the fuck's that stain? Oh my god. Well, wait, what the fuck? It, wait, this is different. Okay, August 21st, 2006. That as a debut outfit? I admire your confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high school years were probably over. Uh, first day of new school and the new girl in town got classified as undesirable by what seems to be the queen of Wayright Academy. I spent last night telling myself, confidence, Sam, confidence. But looks like I should have spent that time picking better clothes. I try not to care too much about blending in, but these kids already look at me like I'm candy handed out by strangers. The package seems fine, but you know, there's something fishy in there. Judging from their whispers, I could figure out they didn't know Wayright even accepted transfers. It's been less than 24 hours since I moved to Rosenpeak, and I already enjoy sitting alone in my dorm room more than an attempt than attempt socializing with people who call me a city girl. Well, screw you too, hillbilly. Oh my god. <laughs> Besides, I decided not to force myself into making friends after how my old friends decided to turn on me. I just hope these guys leave me alone at least. Hi, Mr. Ant-Man. How are you doing? I am playing a spooky game. <laughs> We're reading diaries and stuff, and spooky shit happens. Okay, where did I end up? I just hope these guys leave me alone at least. Keeping a diary sure can help keep things together in all the chaos. I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten, but this seems like a good time to restart. Kudos to mom for giving me the advice. Oh shoot, I almost forgot calling her. Your friends turn he turned heel, wrestling style. Hell yeah, wrestling. Okay, now let's fucking read. Stop! I had that power. I would never stop looking through B's window. Is that fucking blood? Will B remember the most- the moment he came into my life? For me, it is as clear as the moment he left. So clear that the downfall of our relationship still cuts deep into my heart. <gasps> Stop! Stop! 
the stranger friends says so, so someone uh blush uh, bl are we a yandere yeah life in rosen peak was a jar filled with bittersweet candies not exactly tasteful but i learned to enjoy it nevertheless it's where my heart lies wrote a poem in b's memory he used to struggle with miss Leslie's poetry practices, even if he didn't have to try that hard. Miss Leslie always told us, Poetry is not about using fancy words. Let your feelings do all the work. This is how I feel. Stand at his doorstep, heart filled with desire. Rushes down the stairs, heart red like fire. Before his spirit can soar, first he must answer the door. Knock, knock. <gasps> there? I don't want to answer it! Let me sippy sip my Coca-Cola in peace. Who's there? Oh no, it is dark. That's a bad- oh! <gasps> Okay. I'm going to shit. Oh, God damn it. Stop it. Uh. Don't. Someone's going to poke my eye. Fuck, I don't see anything. Nobody's there. Well, back to reading I go! <laughs> Hi, C Cider Man! Oh, we get, we get a new note. How nice. Hi, Cider Man! What's up? We're playing spooky games. I am casually shitting myself. How are you doing today? August 22nd, 2006. Stacy is a classic. FYI, she's the one who talked crap about my favorite vintage shirt. It's like she jumped straight out of a cheesy teen drama. Blonde, hot, always talking, and a cheerleader. She even has a beefy jock for a boyfriend. I didn't want to start talking shit about someone already, but how could I resist? Every time I get in Stacy's view, triggered an obvious backbite i'm seriously starting to think she's under a curse that kills her if she stopped talking about someone else i'm stacy i'm pretty sadly copying coping oh my god i cannot read coping with her bitchiness wasn't the hardest part of the day mom called again as far as she knows it's just rainbows and butterflies here in rosenbeek I can still remember the complicated face she made when I told her that my application was accepted by Wayright. None of us were expecting them to approve a transfer request of an 11th grader. Even if she told me she, are, she understands my need to move out of the city, I really feel guilty for leaving her alone. You already used up your last runaway chance, Sam. Get yourself together. Not for you, for mom. No! 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 Does that mean there's something in my house? I hope not! Okay, anyways! Other Wayrake kids were so predictable. Doors were already open even before I put my hand on the knob. The bee's door was closed shut and so beautifully painted. Everyone liked him. Couldn't get him to open up. I knew there was something more behind that pretty paint. Something behind his bright. I heard that fucking noise. I... But on the other hand, being able to hang out with him was a good enough blessing for me. Enough to make me want to never leave his side. Ever. Ever. Nobody's in my house.
this. Oh, no, 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 no. If, oh God, they're right behind me, aren't they? They're, mm -hmm. they're not behind you if you don't look. Stop! Ah! <laughs> Oh my god! Holy shit! I don't want to look behind me. They're there. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can't see anything. Oh, it's the... The referee. Oh. Is that a beer? I, I can't see. No, no, the power's out. Hello? Power's out. Oh. Oh. Oh, thank you. I think I'm done. Ah. Oh. August 24th, 2006. My first Rosen Peak weekend. Oh. As the name itself gives away, the small town fits perfectly as setting for a mystery horror genre. Lush forests, endless hills, and a lake that I'm certain is hiding a couple of dead bodies. I could pay a visit one day and take some gorgeous shots. As for now, I'm just gonna leave those... hole? On my to-do list, which already filled with crazy amount of homework. I know no- I now know why. Youngsters of Wayright will try their best to get as far away from school as possible after class, escape from choking on the pressure that teachers give them. Even on weekdays, pretty girls like Stacy will have their boyfriends give them a ride, and others will make use of the power of public transportation to get to the more crowded part of the town. It does feel too quiet with no one- I'm not sure if that was in the game or uh, that was in my house. I no 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 no. Oh god! Thank god! Oh thank god! That's that's in my house. Uh, I think my uh, boyfriend's home. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me much. Uh, just feel too quiet with no one left in school. But at least. I don't feel as lonely as I was in San Diego. At least I don't have to watch any everyone I know turn their faces away like I'm some kind of demon spawn. At least I don't have to be reminded how fucked up things can be in a single moment. Moving on won't be easy, but as long as I keep myself busy, it won't be that hard. For my weekend plan, I'll just improve and improvise in the morning. Write you later. Love, Sam. Ah! Ugh, this game, this game's so scary already. Very atmospheric. I hate it, but I love it. I love atmospheric horror games. What's, oh wait, that's my phone. B was always pushing his limit. Ah! Rude. I Deadpool. Well, it was more like he was always being pushed, but he was good at it. That's why he naturally became the best quarterback of the team while maintaining a high grade for a star player. S or uh, B was the best quarterback Wayright could ask for. Seeing him running all sweaty on that field though he's triggered something tingly with him. Ah! No! Something that made me want to catch him behind his back and never let go. All sorts of feelings and thoughts were pumped relentlessly into my brain with every heartbeat. Hi, I wish you were pretty neat. Lo love Sam. Hi, Sam! <laughs> Hi! 
Hi. Thank you for thinking I'm pretty neat. Oh god, do I have to read in this voice? How are you doing, Sam? How are you doing today? Gave me a bad headache. A good kind of bad headache. Oh! I want it to stop. I wanted it to never stop. But as soon as B gave me that hey with all those headaches, we're washed away. It used to be the best prescription I could ask for. Take away the pain and let only the good things stay. Hey! I. Why can't I turn... Why can't I turn the fucking page? Ow! Yeah, I'm reading your diary live on stream. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm stupid. I have to get the pencil, don't I? What? No? The book... The book is too self-aware. Um, actually, I might need to turn up the gamma a little bit. It is still dark as fuck. No. What the fuck do we do? It is a scary game! I'm dumb. Hey, it's an eyeball. It's me. <laughs> yeah, it's like a. It's like an interactive novel. To be... Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that'd be. It is still. Oh, oh. It's really atmospheric, though. Like a two hour storybook? Yeah, I'm sure nothing scary like some monster creeping behind my ass. August 31st to the X. <laughs> oh. We're a boarding school. Rainwhite intellectuals are not that interested in becoming intelligent. I visited the library today, and two things surprised me. One, the place was much bigger than the one in my old school. Someone could get lost in here. I mean, it's got pictures. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Two, I had a strong feeling that people rarely visit the library. Maybe because they feared being lost in there. The place was too clean. Even the books showed little signs of human touch. Now I feel sorry for complaining about Miss... Leslie's book assignment. Oh. <clears throat> I wonder if Stacy is even thinking of picking a book with her admiring admiring her boyfriend Kyle. Oh god, of course his name's Kyle. I bet he crunches drywall and drinks monster energy religiously all day. I doubt she has spare time to do that. Is she depending on Kyle to do that reading for her? Seriously? According to what I saw so far, He's either busy reacting to whatever's coming out of Stacy's mouth, or working up some shenanigans with his jock buddy. Man, was it? So, yeah, right. In the meantime, I should be more concerned about myself than the well-being of the whole school. Me too cool for books! Okay, uh, holy shit, that voice hurts me after a while. Open those eyes. No need for words. The sweetest love song. Those eyes utter. <laughs> I don't want to turn around! Turn around and think for me. I like the eyeball, but I don't want to fucking turn around! <sighs> I need a drink.
It's a beautiful picture, though. <laughs> if I get to see an eyeball, I'll be happy, but I don't want to turn around. Who the fuck's in my kitchen eating my snack? They ate all my snacks. Oh no, they saved snacks for me. No? What? I have a magic wand! Okay. I guess we get a stick. <laughs> nice. Free stick. September 4th, 2006. I visited the library again. I've been more people than before, and among them was Brian. It's not worth a bother, but seeing a major skank's boyfriend's bud wandering around in a library is uncanny by anyone's standards. He must have been there to pick the book for Miss Laisley's assignment. I almost got too close to him trying to see what he was doing. He was going to pick. I really hope he didn't notice that I'd rather been be known as a regular geek than a creepy one. A jock in a library? Now I've seen everything. What was me? I hate to admit it, but seeing Brian at the library was today's only diary-worthy event. Probably because it's the only human interaction that didn't give me the sensation of someone talking behind my back. At least today's entry is a tad more meaningful than what I wrote yesterday. I need to revise my book options now. Fight you later. Love, Sam. Alright, back to the beautiful photos. I miss... No. Even when I'm with him, I see him. Even when he is not looking. No! He's under my fucking table, sniffing my toes! Oh! No. Sniffing my toes. Okay, so that's the kitchen. So I was... No! He's under my bed! No! I'm gonna shit myself. At this rate. Doesn't under... No! Do I have to find the person? I don't want to find them. Hello? No, not on the roof. Please, not on the roof. Oh. Oh. Wait, were those paintings there before? Ah, oh, he's saying. I don't see anything under there. Is it in the closet? It is not in the closet. Uh, wait, the stick! Oh, the stick. Sticky boy, help me. Free stick. September 7th, 2006. It was Mr. Kane's ninth, ninth psychology class, and he still managed to come up with another lame activity. This time, he gave each of us a sheet and made us write down some of our own personal traits. For the next 10 cringy minutes, I managed to squeeze out some of the aspects of myself that I could hate less. After that, Mr. Kane told us to think about whether or not others would agree to each of them. He called it re-engaging the perspective towards oneself. Blah, blah. Wow. Like, I really need to reevaluate my stupid self? 
I'm not gonna turn off the lights. But it's not the dumb subconscious exercise that's bugging me right now. When the papers are being passed around, Brian... Yep, him again. Kinda smiled at me. It's 11 p.m. now. Why am I writing about this? It's most likely an accidental glance. Oh no, that's fair. I still don't know why the very image hovered in my head for the rest of class. Okay, the rest of the day. Stupid Brian. Stupid brain. <laughs> brain. Brian. Prob Probs wants an excuse to screw for screwing up today's math class. Get out of my brain, Brian. <gasps> What the fuck was that? Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. Like, that didn't just happen. And the, the thing had, it had its little grabby, gross hands under our bed. As the time we spent together grew longer, one question kept growing with it. What does the me in B's eyes look like? Does he see me as I see him? Does he see me as I see myself? Does he see me as I want him to? I screamed in agony. There was nobody to eat hear it. Oh god, we have to do a questionnaire. Um, so I'm gonna try and answer this as honestly as like to me possible, I guess. Well others think that I do not- okay, this is actually kind of weirdly worded. This is very weirdly. Would never lie to my friends? Yeah, I wouldn't- I don't lie to my friends. Do not overthink. <laughs> never use others for personal gain? Yeah. I don't use others for personal gain. Well, others think that I won't betray anyone close to me. Yeah, I w yes, I won't betray anyone close to me. Never act on impulse. Yes, no. Don't run away from my responsibilities. Uh, uh, sure. Am I a fucking freak? Hey, wait, it changed all my answers. Oh, uh, what the fuck? I mean, I, I, probably. Oh. Hello? Hello? want to look around a little. I know the paper's there. September 11th, 2000. I was returning some of the books I checked out when he came out of nowhere. Hey, anything worth reading? I never thought the voice was aimed at me, but my heart was somehow already skipping a beat. Ryan had to tap me on the shoulder and kept my complete attention. Damn right. I saw you going in and out of the library, he said, with a buttery voice. Hey! It's not like I've been stalking you or anything. I come here from time to time, too, to get the stupid assignment out of the way, so I could focus on my games. He said he couldn't find anything interesting to read. And since all he could think of were comics, he, would, he could use some guidance. My mind was still jumbled up from the ambush. All I remember saying is, how about misery? Stephen King's works are good enough to get you started. Cause boys like any story with blood and breaking bones, right? Oh God. I don't recall how the rest of the conversation went, but I'm certain he said, see you later at some point. And I said, yeah, I'll see ya. Misery. Real nice, Sam. If Ryan didn't know you were a weirdo, he does now. Hi. What, what I did, I did for B. All of them. I loved him. Why couldn't he just understand? 
Others were nothing but poison. I was the only one who truly ca Wait a minute. There's on our windows. Did we- Did we go full on yandere and kill everyone in our class? We didn't even appreciate the things I've done for him. Never wanted a drama. I wanted a poem-ish life. A tender, subtle love story written only for his eyes. It's totally fine if no one else gets it, as long as B does. B was always welcome in my world. I gave him the key to it. Even if he lost- if- even if he lost it, he could always come back to our world to find it. And I think it's a good time to come back home now, B. Let's go back to our small world, where I placed my heart at everywhere you loved. Let's go back. Oh, I think- Oh. So I think we have to take the. Oh, wait, we can't. Where I placed my heart at, everywhere you look. I thought. Okay, so I think we have to go around. Maybe, and find little hearts? People struggled with this part? I mean, fair enough. Okay, because I didn't even know I could pick up that heart. I thought I just had to... ...press it. I hadn't really had a chance to look around. sure I could place this. If it will let me grab it. Not letting me grab it. Why is that letting me grab it? Weird. Can't grabby grabby it? Oh, there must be something else then. There's gonna be something in that freaking. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> I forget the door closes on its own. That's fine, I can figure it out. I can't open the freezer. Can't grab it, so there must be something else around the house. I like how I already knew the door closed on its own, but I still get jump scared all the time. Oh, I can't look under the bed anymore. Can I crouch in this game? Hmm. Wait, th wait, it said something about a key. Can I... I'm a genius. But I know he's not coming back. I will never hear that hey ever again. I will never know what's behind this door locked tight with smiles. So I gave him my key and beat. Hey. Because <laughs> I knew it said something about a key, so I, I was figuring a key would appear somewhere. And there, there's this drawer with a lock on it. Oh, hey! Two more hearts! We did it! September 16, 2006. Turns out... Oh, hi, you, you, you boy! How are you doing? And I... I am... I'm pretty good. We're playing a spooky game. This game's kind of cool. Turns out the lake does have a history of having a dead body in it. I know this because I visited there. I visited there because Brian took me there. What? It all happened so fast. I was outside the yard reading when Brian appeared out of nowhere again and said, Hey. And I started and started telling me about he actually enjoyed the book and how he never read the same book twice in his life. And since he was heading out, he offered 
me to give me a tour of the town. Ten minutes later, we were passing Joe's Diner, home of the world-famous pancakes, says Brian. There was also an arcade across the diner. Brian hates the place because it's teeming with ten-year-olds. <laughs> the donut shop was Brian's must-go-to place. Two, unlike the music store, which, according to him, seriously needs to be restocked. I found my own pot of... Or, my own... Oh? A bookstore! It was weird seeing a bookstore and a gym standing side by side, though. At the end of the tour, I finally got to taste that sweet pancake Brian worshipped. Out of the window, I could see the weird gigantic hill that was also visible from my dorm room. Brian revealed that it's his secret base of some kind of some kind since a few people actually visit cotton hill he jokingly said he could take me there when i'm cool enough after dinner uh brian dropped me off at the bus station drove off to meet up with his friends i was exhausted but hyped up beyond my limits i can't sleep how can i when the whole day just feels like a dream The power keeps dipping on and off. Oh, damn, that sucks. Oh, God, you're under siege for the hurricane? Yeah, like, I heard a lot of people are affected by that right now. That sucks. Cotton Hill. No, no, oh, no, no, no. It was saying Cotton Hill. He also loved the diner. And. The donut shop. No. And I no, I can't grab the Sharpie. No? There must be paper somewhere. Epic. No, okay, so there must be something else. Because it said he liked, so the diner is definitely one. The donut shop, yes. Uh, we liked the bookstore and then the hill. So I need to figure out how to... I miss my morning do bakery. He never shuts, shut up about its donuts. So tasty. They did taste sweet, just like Bee's heart. Each bite was another memory to savor. But just like a donut, it had an expiration date. It turned cold and bitter. I miss its warmth I miss its sweetness i need it i need to eat it up oh god we gotta go to the fucking fridge don't we hello i got a donut for me oh my god okay no we can't turn it uh so do we have to eat it or i think we have to put it Oh, do we put it, like, here for the demon? <laughs> what if I sharpie... Th no, it doesn't work. Um, okay, so now we got a donut. That's cool. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. What if... Oh, what if, um... I got something wrong. My little... No, I can't go back, so I got that right. I need it. I need to eat it up. Oh, wait! Uh, do we put... It said something about warmth. So... No. Okay. Wait, what about the Sharpie in there? Because it was red when it said warm. Get in there! It said something about warmth 
And the warmth was in red, so... It seems like... Maybe I have to put it on a plate first? Get in there! Oh! Okay! Uh, apparently it was just being- ah! That wasn't a donut. That was not a donut. Alright. September 25th, 2006. The golems just obliterated the hammerheads today. Now I know why they say Brian and Kyle were more than buds. I would have called them an awesome duo too if only Kyle wasn't an assload of a douche. I mean, the guy has his name tattooed on his <laughs> Oh my god. Call me old fashioned, but I think he should go to a hospital and get that ego checked out. Cause it must be swollen huge. At least he leaves me alone other than giving me that creepy stare when I pass by. I understand how Stacy can keep hanging out with him, but Brian? They do say we sometimes become friends with those who are the op at the opposite end, so maybe it's not such a weird thing. For me, the real one was the photos I took of Brian. Watch out for Sam Holt, Ry the rising teenage stalker! Bringing the Polaroid camera I bought years ago during my camera geek phase seems like a good idea now. I know I promised myself to stay away from people, stay away from the drama, but when I look at Brian, when he talks to me, it feels like maybe, just maybe, it's okay to have a little drama for myself. I'm not ready to define what this feeling is, but for now, I'm going to label it as looking over, looking for a shoulder to cry on and just shove it under my bed. The pictures I took. Oh, so there, is there going to be like pictures on the, but under the bed? We yes, we love our stalker queen. I hated every moment I was not with B. I was helpless. Every day, I just wanted to call him, just so we could chat. I was afraid of what Brian would think of it. It could even hurt his reputation. When I finally worked up the nerve to call, all I could do was listen to him say, Hello. That was as far as our late night phone call chit chat would go. Hung up, wondering if he knew who I was on the other end of the line. Remember the strong burning sensation that came every time I called him? That red fiery sensation. Red. So fucking red! And everything. Oh god, that's kind of creepy. Okay, so I'm assuming we have to go with the marker and color... Uh, everything. <laughs> the donut place was a scam the whole time. It was paper the whole time. God damn it. Finish what you started. Let me color my walls. Oh. Oh! Oh. oh! Oh! My riser! <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Jojo! How are you? I mean... Uh, so that's kind of to be, the, 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 to be expected when it comes to my streams. A lot of screaming. <laughs> and also, hi, Razor, how are you? Thank you for the stretch and the hydrate. If you guys heard that crack, that was my fucking neck. I play a lot of spooky games. <laughs> spooky game is spooky. I shit myself when a door opens. Is there something in the bathroom? The color? Oh. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> <gasps> oh! 
I'm sorry! Oh. Uh, um. No. Hello? Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck up the heart and it's mad at me. <sighs> Holy shit. Full story, bro. Full story, bro. Oh. Turn on lights! Close my window! Close my window! You die in the game, you die in real life. I got rain on my face. Oh no. I'm not sure if you guys can hear him. Oh my god. Oh. Meow! <laughs> Ow! I, I jumped. Meow! I'm bullying Baxter right now. Do you even loft, bro? Do you even- do you even loft? I lift for days. Where the fuck am I? I can't walk up hills. I can't run. What's over here? Hello? This game is scarier than what I thought it would be. Hello, sir? What are you meowing about? Hey. Okay. The gremlin is here. Staring at me and meowing up a storm and scaring the shit out of me. Oh! Sam, meet me at Cotton Hill. You know where to find me. Oh, what the fuck? I hate it. Scary stick. Stick is scary. September 28th. New date for Miss Lasley's book report is right around the corner, and I'm still not finished. If only I wasn't too disturbed. Normally, I wouldn't bother reading a teen romance story, but for some reason I thought, hey, why not? What? Why are you screaming? He's looking at me like, what the fuck? The premise for Mingled itself is pretty generic. Jenny- oh! The fuck was that? Did he touch me? It scared the shit out of me. Pat! Where are you? Holy shit! He like, touched my hip! <laughs> it's always hard to play spooky games when he's in the room. Because he always comes and he like, hops it in my lap in the middle. Of like a jump scare or something, it scares the shit out of me. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, okay, Jenny has a huge crush on her childhood friend Michael, but she can't get Michael to think of her as more than just friends. She reaches a conclusion that 
it's because of all those girls around him. So she starts making a list of all the basic girls who also have a crush on Michael. She's planning to do with the list, yet to be revealed. If I can finish reading the book by tomorrow, I'll be able to finish the report with enough time for a revise. Book equals A plus, baby! Yes, I wonder how Brian is doing with his assignments. Why am I interested? He's been asking for my help with some of his works. I gladly agreed to. Why would I do that? By helping Brian focus on his practices. So he can bring trophies to our beloved school. I just have to say I'm part of a bigger cause. Not like I'm doing this for personal reasons. Fuck you, creepy man at my window! I wanted to read Brian like a book. Deep into it. Fill it with his desires. I had to secretly... You the fuck you. Desires of whispering words like... Don't go away. Don't smile for others! Please don't look away! Please don't look away! <laughs> huh? Oh! No 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 Oh, a PhD in wifeology. Oh my god. Oh, my pants are full of shit. Stacy invited everyone to a late post victory party at her place this Friday. Weird that she told me this at the hallway herself. A sudden act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen. Think of it. Self-conscious beauty queen like Stacy would love showing off how tolerant she could she could be. I'd prefer celebrating quietly in my room, but since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would be sorta of rude of me not to be there. He was nothing but nice to me since I met him. The least I could do is show up. Plus, I'd probably witness the face Stacy makes when she sees I actually had the nerve to show up. Maybe just maybe even piss her off if I managed to strike a conversation with Brian and Omega hanging out with an alpha? <laughs> I can't! I can't! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Kyle would be busy comforting Stacy, fuming about how messed up her ecosystem. I messed up her ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam. Just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian. That's like Like staring into closed eyes. I could never know if B knew I was looking at him. Did he even know I was there? Maybe he knew. Simply didn't care. The only thing back is my decaying sanity. I wanted to look away so much, but what's the point when the stench is still- I start to- Oh, oh okay, that's the note I picked up. I, I, I totally forgot it was there. I started to think the only way to get B's attention was to throw myself off Cotton Hill. How did I become so low? All I wanted was a chance to show how I feel about B, without any noise getting in the way. I still could have had some peace with Brian, despite all the shit I had to deal with. I need a drink. This is a lot of reading! <sighs> but I like this game so far, it's interesting. Brian was super likable. Everyone liked everything about him. They couldn't stop smiling when Brian started talking. The smiles they gave him made me want to puke. 
as they smile as if their relationships with Brian mean so much more than the one I have with B. Yet, I was the one left with a broken heart when he left Rosen Peak. B was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. B needed to be a fucking model student. Nothing says pick me to college. Admission like a spotless student record. I can't just shake up my- OH MY GOD! Hello? Oh no, it's scared. Uh. Hello? Shaky shaky! Jesus Christ! Thank you, thank you. Uh. October 7th, 2006. Oh man, everything's gone wrong. My senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. The pain only escalated the moment Brian texted me. You feeling okay? No, I was not okay. Why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from being quiet to crazy happy and cute. His words, not mine. Real quick. I was so close to being the center of the party that he had to bring me back to the dorm. I don't remember any of them. Congrats, Sam. You reached a new low in life. Shit! Is this it? Is this how I die? I sincerely asked Brian if there was a good place to kill myself. He said, maybe now is a good time to show you my secret hideout. So I passed the test by showing the whole school... Different me. He's seriously gonna take me to his Hill hideout? Tomorrow, I'm going to the so-called most romantic place in Rosen Peak. Brian. There's something in my head that keeps me awake. <gasps> no. Nobody's home. Nobody's at the door. I'm gonna poke my eye out. Oh, hello? <gasps> oh my god. What the fuck? That is such a cool transformation. I'm gonna cry. Brian? Is that Brian? Brian? Or are we Brian? Brian? Was... Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. oh my god! Brian actually took me to Cotton Hill. I had out Brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town. The whole place under the golden sunset. The best part of this spot was that it was that it is quite hidden and unsafe. It easily rolled down the hill if you are careless or drunk, and no one could find you for days. How awesome is that? Being drunk with that wonderful moment didn't cause any accident though. We sat there for less than an hour, but it felt like an eternity. I can't even remember what we talked about. 
I do remember saying how beautiful Rosen Peak is, and Brian being all meh about it. I guess you can get fed up with views like this too. Today's only regret is that I failed to bring the true essence of the hills view back with me. The reason why I gave up photography as a hobby in the first place. At least the close up shot of Brian was not half as bad. When I came back down from the hill, I can't clear that my life just became a bit more messed up now. I know because I really want to talk to Brian again soon. Help me get to sleep quickly today, diary. Love, Sam. That was actually a very cool transition. Oh my god. I'm gonna lose my voice tomorrow. Oh, ew. Brian's secret hideout. Closed Cotton Hill hiking route. Discovered by himself so he can hide from the world around him. Not a flashy place, but it had a great view. All of life's problems, Cotton Hill. Cotton Hill. I wished it could be our special place. Ours and ours only. Cotton Hill is nothing but a rock pile of blood-soaked memories now. Why did he have to break my fucking heart? Was I just one of his many friends? Maybe that's it. That's why he wanted to leave, even after I told him we won't be together anymore. He thought he went- he was too good for Rosenpeak and me. Him, I was just a background picture. Oh! The clip! Ow! Click click? Click click click? Click click? Can I hide in the closet? Oh no! I can hide in the closet! I don't like that! You don't deserve a face. Oh, I... I mean, I guess fair enough. Oh. Oh, we found it. Nice. October 10th, 2006. Psycho. Oh! Left. Nice. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, no! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Ah! 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 Oh! Hello. Free camera. You remember how to take a picture? But that's kind of cool. I'm gonna cry. Oh! That's actually kind of cool. Brian got what he wanted in the end, and left Rosen Peak as soon as he was given the chance. As for me, I was left to suffocate in the hole of painted memories till I drowned in my own endless light. Every day, every night, I'm surrounded by whispers. Whispers that lie. Whispers that eat away my brain. My brain, piece by piece, no matter how hard I try to. Oh god, I hear them again. Are you in a healthy relationship? Take this quick survey and to find out. Uh, no. I mean, sure. It's the... One must take as much, much as one gives. Um, not, no, I don't think so. Obsession is a stronger form of love. No. No one can, can have what you can't. What? No one can have what you... No? B never loved you. 
The green no. Because you were a selfish little shit. Uh, green no. All your problems are caused by you. Red no. It's all your fault. Not my fault. Survey results? Lies? Are you in denial? Are you regretting? Okay. <laughs> or maybe you forgot who you are. Hey, someone's calling you. Ring, ring, it's you. Oh, Jesus, no! Hey. Hi, me. How's it going? This Google survey is being mean to me. Hello? Getting worse. The fucking shit old town left a disgusting crack on my heart. It's getting bigger and bigger. The voices I hear them from the crack are getting louder. I see more and more eyes staring at me through the gap. Oh, sorry. That's just me. <laughs> eyes. Wait, eyeballs staring at crack. Wait. Um, there's something about a crack. It ends in the darkness. Darkness comes to light. Well, that's a crack. Click, click. Click, click. Eh. Oh! Oh, there was a note. October 13th, 2006. Miss Lasley gave us an easy poetry assignment for once. She said it's okay to make a parody of the classics, as long as we stick to the ABC, ABCB pattern. So I took the liberty, letting my imagination go A, B, C, BERSERK! Here was a slight taste of my early work. Roses are red, violets are blue. My wood, my life would have sucked if it wasn't for you. Call me Sam Spear, or is it Hot Spear? Oh god, I'm gonna die of cringe. I'm gonna die of cringe! I could have waited for Brian to ask for my help with homework again, but I decided to make the first move with this time. Guess what? He said he can handle it alone. Call me paranoid, but I'm worried I might have hurt Brian's pride. That's what happens when Sam opens her idiot mouth or uses her idiot brain. Yes, I've decided to carry my diary in my bag. The doors in the girls' dorm are way too easy to open. Not as easy as Stacy, though. If you know what I- Oh my god! I even saw one of the girls using a notepad to crack her door open. Besides, I have this weird hunch someone's been reading my diary. I had to not ignore this hunch. Wait, we're not Sam, are we? We're the person in her dorm reading her diary. When I ran out of places to run, I had the on only one solution. Now my memories are scattered all over the dark. Now, I must look for them. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, it says memory scattered around the room. I'm assuming we have to use our little- Click, click! Wait, there was a- ah! I cherish yours. Oh, Jesus! I indulge your gaze. Oh! Jesus Christ, I'm gonna cry! There's probably one in the bash. Coward! 
The only one who's a coward is you! Oh, is it because the light's on? Fine. I'm not a coward. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, maybe I am! Be my endless sun rays. Okay, we need one more. Oh, what if we... No? I mean... Worth a shot! No? Oh wait, it's on the roof! <laughs> ah. Keep me forever warm. Okay. So oh, wait. So I cherish your smile, keep me forever warm, be my endless sun rays. I indulge your gaze. Um. Hmm. That's what the oven's for. Let's keep your forever warm. Hey, so it looks like I might be making a poem of sorts. So I indulge your gaze. Be my endless sun rays. Those rhyme. So the format was A, B, C, B. Just go A, B, C, berserk. True. I think this one's first, and I think this one's last. No, wait, it's not last. It would be third. I... Yeah! We got it! A wish, a shot, a wish, a spear. I, it doesn't go, I mean, hot a spear. <laughs> like what she said. Uh, October 20th. Is Brian preparing for a rematch with the Hammerheads? I once again gladly gave him a hand with the non-important homework stuff. I must say, the teachers here don't give their poor students a break. It's because a test is over. It's not like I'm burdened with helping out, but Brian is really trying hard to get good grades. From what I heard, he doesn't have much to worry about going to college since he's practically a local football star. Maybe his pushy police chief dad raised him to be an overachief. Don't be scared, you got B with you. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Funny how a model athlete like Brian got friends like Kyle, who always finds excuses to pull him out of school. It's unfair, really. As long as you are a sports star, you'll end up with douches like him, no matter how nice of a person you are. I don't speak with Kyle much, but I don't need to talk to know what he's like. First of all, his girlfriend is freaking Stacy Lannings. The stairs... He gives me when I pass by is enough to creep me out for the whole day. It, it would be lucky if Stacy didn't come along and start yapping about how Brian is out of my league. She has Kyle to play with, so why would she even care? Like, ask your boyfriend out for a drive, jeez. Have a nice life with him, so Brian can stay out of the poison he does not deserve. Knock! Knock, knock! Hello? Don't poke my eye out. Hi. Oh, 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 oh. Oh wait, shit, I meant to answer. Fine! Hello? Stop breathing into the phone and say something! Okay. I wake up without waking up. Same rainy night. 
Life is grim. Endless nightmare. Stop calling me! What do you want? Okay, cool. Oh, it's a puzzle. The fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Tentacle hand! Oh no. Turn back. Fuck. Let's go. <gasps> no turning back now. Hello? That's a bathroom! How nice of them to put a spot for me to shit. Never your potential with our early emission program. Oh, it's some men's bathroom. Journal. Okay, I guess I'll be on my way. I hate it in here. I take it off the I'm lost <laughs> There must be something else I'm missing What's that Oh what the fuck are you what are you smiling at? Ah! Oh, do I have to take a picture of that? <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, I need to figure out what to do. There's no... Door disappeared. <laughs> oh, what if a bathroom stall? <laughs> Huh. 
Try. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, what? What kind of fucking hit range does it have? When the fuck do I avoid that thing? Just smooch. After a while, I see. This is for B. Don't push it out. Okay. Okay. Nice ambiance. Wait. What did, what did it say? Wait. Did it say I'm trash? You belong in the trash? I mean, okay. You belong here. Oh, there's something in. I mean, I am trash. I know that. That's actually got oh. oh Nice ambiance. Where'd my fucking note go? <laughs> fucking run? Oh fucking trash. Okay, you know what? That hurt my feelings. The holy shit, if you- <laughs> No, 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 no! Oh man, my room's trashed. Okay, that thing was probably behind me. October 23rd. There was a consulting session for Greenheart University Students Program. Called it Gusp. Lol, what the fuck? At the gym today. I've seen its posters all over schools since the day I arrived. I had nothing better to do, so I decided to give a visit and spend my precious after-school time reading brochures. And once again, just like at the library, I was surprised to see Brian there. He was at the early decision program booth. I wanted to talk to him, but instead I ran for my room, jumped, jumped to my bed, and out of nowhere tears started to drop. I bet it was because of those stupid hearts. Yep, I saw those hearts again. Now they were on the gym walls too. 
Whoever drew them must be very insecure about the relationship. Here, like me. Deep down, I know I want my own hearts on the walls too. Seeing Brian at the university booth fine, felt like finally getting punched by reality. I have no idea what I'll be doing in a couple of years. I thought of staying here at Rosenpeak. But with Brian preparing to leave, there's no point to it. No Brian, no hearts on the wall. It's like my brain's creating a storm. I'm just gonna lay down for a bit. Hopefully, I'll wake up next. Sheesh, dramatic. My life's nothing but a repetition of waking up with nothing to live for. Not even a false hope to look forward to this time. Long time ago, when I finally got to accept my feelings for Brian, I thought everything was going to change. But every day was still just like every day. I was still a he was still a school star, star, I was still his friend. When you live in Rosen Peak, people expect things to stay the same. If anything changed between us, room B and everything around him. So that's how it went. Nothing changed. The whole world burned. I kept telling myself maybe after graduation. Hi boss, how are you doing? I keep the head back. I'll be able to express my feelings for him. I left the fire in my heart eat through my soul and body. I called myself a coward, but I chose to keep what little I had to enjoy. I was a poor kid crawled up and bit. Poor? Do I really deserve a that charity title? Am I really the victim of this all? Who is here to judge me anyway? It's all over. Everyone left me. I am doing pretty good. We're playing spooky games. We're playing a game called Love Sam, and uh, it is. <laughs> it's really good, actually. Ugh, sorry, pausing to take a sip. Holy shit. A lot of talking. Why do I have to feel like I'm being chased? Like someone's always watching me. Someone's trying to judge me. Stacy's mom. She's gone. How did the invite go? She and her not. Oh, she's coming. Oh, dorks like her can't say no to a party like this. Oh, I am. I think I'm B. Sweet. Time to give her the drama she wants so bad. Oh, here we go. Whew. Oh my god. Oh, I just turned so bad. Give me a second. I need something stuck in my teeth. I know I used half of this diary writing about Stacy being a bitch, but now she's just unstable. I wasn't even past the first class when I saw her arguing like crazy with Kyle. Heard her shouting something like, I'm done doing shit for you, before storming away. When she saw me, I was her next target. She strode towards me and said, This is all your fault. Why don't you go back to fucking San Diego? Oh, what did I do? She was off before I could even open my mouth. I turned to Kyle for answers, but he was gone too. Come to think of it, I rarely saw them hanging out recently. But I didn't know things were this intense. Brian's been acting weird too, though. He hasn't talked to me much recently. He even looks somewhat more upset than usual. I finally tried to ask him what was wrong. He cut me short asking if I called him again. I called him last night again. All I could give was a blank face until Brian said, Never mind. I walked away that about? What do you mean by again? Calling him in the middle of the night for no reason is something I've dreamed of. That doesn't mean I actually did it. What else is going on? Because of her, the moment she came into our lives, what little I had to enjoy started to crumble. Only bad changes happened in my life. No matter how hard I tried to protect it. City girl just asked him to become an outsider. That was all she was to me. Hell. That was all she was to everyone else, even to B. Then I saw them talking at the library. I couldn't see clearly, but I could know it from B's face. He was making her smile. It was another smile taunting my feelings for B. No one would ever know what kind of emotions I was hit with at that moment. Change was happening, and I didn't like it at all. Stacy didn't like it either. And she could never stand letting an easy social prey slip away from her. Naturally, Stacy took a peek into her diary when 
pictures of some of the entries and sent them to me and her gang. I want everyone to join her twisted childish game. What the fuck? Um, the diary had no special meaning to me. Not until I read about how Brian took that- that- <laughs> C-word on a fucking tour of the town. Wait, this is... someone else. He had no interest in girls whatsoever and suddenly now he's hanging out with an outsider that moment i got tired of doing nothing i knew i had to do something so i gave stacy an idea it was going to be easy spike her drink get her wasted and humiliate the shit out of the city girl in front of everyone only then she would know her place it couldn't have been so simple only b didn't get get it only if b didn't get in the way Oh man, I was hoping to do nasty stuff to her drunk ass. Still can't believe Brian had to take her away like that. Well, needy bitches like Sam do make some people feel sorry. She did mention something about her dad in her diary, but she has nasty daddy issues too. I got an idea. How about we show everyone how needy a bitch can be? Hmm, sounds fun, but how? Reading her diary. The squirrel radical. Very. Ah! Hello, sir. <laughs> you look so stiff. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Damn, he loopin. He sure do be. Oh my god. How long is this game? Holy shit. The diary had no special meaning to me. Not until I read about how Brian took... Oh, we already read that. Um. So these random pages are pages of Sam's diary. Um, diary reading is someone else's diary? By the looks of it? Maybe? November 6, 2006. I don't even know how to describe what happened. This, this fucked up. My hands are shaking again. It started when I opened my locker and something poured out. For a few seconds, my brain was cut off from whatever was happening. When I finally looked down, there were dozens of pictures scattered on the hall floor. All of them were pictures of Brian with gibberish written on them. Whole school was at the hall. They looked at the pictures, then at me. Brian was there too. Stacy gave me a face of disgust. I turned away and left. I didn't even say anything. I tried to chase him. Say something! Anything to him. The floor started spinning and people started whispering like they knew what was. The air soon began to choke my throat. I swept what was on the floor and ran off to class. Of course, Stacy must have been. had. Have something to do with this. I looked for her. She was nowhere to be found. The rest of the day was about nothing but avoiding eye contact with anyone. I can't sleep. Brian's not answering any of my texts. No one to talk to. I feel sad for her. Holy shit. He kept saying nothing was going on between them. Lies! How could you? But I wasn't about to believe everything was just rainbows and butterflies. Oh my god, that is a cool drawing. I like it. In my eyes, Sam was using Brian to fill her sad, empty life. I couldn't let that happen. She wanted a drama. She didn't deserve. She doesn't deserve shit. She doesn't get to barge in and start stealing the life I've only dreamed of. St Stacy kept doing what she does best, digging into other secrets. She sent pictures of the little shit's diary pages to me. That's how I found out about their little trip to Cotton Hill. It was our hideout since first year of high school, and her presence turned into fucking nothing. How could B do this to us? The only way to break them apart was to show Brian what a creep she was. I kept reading the disgusting words she wrote in her diary. Or Colton, that, that's what I meant. Bruh, I'm tired. 
the same time, I felt something. A reminder of how I felt when I fell for B. How it felt so right and terribly wrong. Screaming into my pillow never helped with making the feelings go away. Find the diary yet? Babe, I think you're taking this too seriously. Did you find it or not? Ow, how dare you, Allie and Halsa, how are you? I think she knows I'm sneaking into her room. I can't find it anywhere. Babe, don't you think you're too obsessed with breaking them up? You're giving up now? Forget it! Please, babe, maybe Brian doesn't even like the girl. I said forget it! What am I doing? I'm so tired! No! School counselor called me today. Your ferns. Fems? Ferns? I'll say ferns. It looks like ferns. Asked me if the rumors were true. Rumors that I'm leaving heart drawings all over school. That I've been stalking Brian. At this point, the whole school must be out of its mind. I didn't even know the letters in the fucking heart spelled S and B. And what? Just because the initials are S and B, suddenly every name that starts with them are either Sam or Brian? Guess what? Even crazier words are on the streets. Sam Holt, the daughter of a child, uh, bad person, craves forbidden love. How on earth did Stacy find out about Dad? Why would she do so much to fuck up my life? And where the fuck is she? Is she? You know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for Brian to listen to me. I'm tired of looking for words that describe this fucked up situation. I can't believe I have to go through this again, so far from home. And so soon. Ryan, please. Okay. Okay. I think we already read this, yeah. Oh my god, how could Sam Holt not kill herself? If my dad went on the news for- mm -mm. That's bye-bye world for me. Screw you, Brent. Then I remembered. She wrote something about her dad. It had something to do with her existence in my life. Her digging. It wasn't even a challenge. Keith Holt. Arrested for... Yikesing. It was beautiful. I found the perfect ending. All I had to do was... Next was fill in the rest of the story. Yeah, yeah I, I, I... Yeah! Sam Holt calls Brian from a payphone in the middle of the night and silently listens to... Sam Holt takes Brian's picture and keeps them in hidden in her locker. Sam Holt draws hearts all over the school and lets others know Brian is hers. Draws hearts. Does it want us to draw? Whoa, is that eyeball? I didn't even see how tattered it is. Oh. An EAD city girl with serious issues. She was just a disaster waiting to happen. No one, even Brian, would think otherwise. I made all the preparations while Stacy spread the rumors I created. It was never easy. I once almost caught, caught, caught taking a picture of Brian using the restroom. But I kept going. Every picture I took was a love confession I could never make. Every heart I drew was my sacrifice for him. And in the end, I got what I wanted. Wait, is this Kyle? Now that I'm thinking about it, what if this is Kyle? Because, uh, in, like, Sam's little things, Kyle kept giving her, like, disgusting looks and stuff. And then, like, I don't know, it's just a theory. When enough suspicion piled up on Sam, I stuffed all the pictures I took into her locker. It was a happy coincidence that B was there to see the spectacular unfold when it happened. It was over. Things were about to turn back to normal. And then Stacy's drama filled head exploded. Yeah, because like the texts too, that's like definitely That's definitely um oh! Hide! Oh, 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 oh.
needs Rob! Oh no. I am not the leaving closet. I might need to if I have to progress though, so I might as well die. Alright, kill me. minute I see I see I see that's why the eyes are there okay I need to figure out where to go next Fucking Stacy! I need to figure out how to be get over there. Oh, here we go. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Get to the bathroom? Diary? Maybe you'll be able to live again. Okay, I gotta time this probably. even in her eye gaze. Where am I even supposed to go? Well, I'm dead. I wonder if I close the window. Thank you for the sub, Joe, Dr. Jojo. Welcome. Oh no. Um. Do I close the. Do I close the window? I'm done watching you get away with the shit you've done to me. Did you really think I wouldn't find out that you've been using me to break Sam and Brian apart so you can have some fun with her? Well, I've had my share of fun when I told Brian what you've been doing. You should have seen the face he made when he got part of your drawing. Those, mmm, hearts all over school. I hope you enjoy your happy life now that there's no Brian to get in your way. Oh, by the way, I saw you staring at the college poster. What do you like? 
What, did you like the girl in the poster too? That's why you tore her face off? You need help. Don't bother calling me. Huh? Oh, okay. We get to, uh, we get to do a reading again. Oh. All right, my origin is ruined. Is that what Stacy really said? Said about what? Empty pages. Please, man. Stacy got it all wrong. Just a misunderstanding. I was trying to prevent Sam from getting into your head. Please be. Don't do this. Text me back, please. The day Stacy told Brian the last day he talked to me. So angry at me. Never understood what I did for him. Typical. So fucking typical. Again, I was left alone to suffer. This time, someone had to pay for it. Click. I need to punch some drywall. Oh wait, pictures. Oh. Slip this little note in. Hide into the locker. And cry. Hello? Oh. I don't like that. <laughs> Where the fuck do I <laughs> um oh oh all right sam gotta push you off a clip because i'm kyle and i'm mad or i'm stacy i don't know i'm probably kyle Waiting for what? Kyle! Okay, yeah, it is Kyle. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Ow! My fucking ears! No! No, no! Shit, shit, shit! The note. It's in her bag. Must get rid of it. Okay, so I have to get something to reach it. The stick! The stick! Where's the stick? There's the stick. Stick! That's why I stick. 
Oh, she's gone! She's alive! Where the fuck am I? Oh, that's her bag. Burn. Burn it. Burn the evidence! Brian preparing for a rematch. Hammer hits once again. The the Brian's back to weird too. Oh my god! We're having a nice little fire with some Mars. I was right, it was Kyle. Hello? Oh! We're back! Out of the closet. Hell yeah. Was it an accident? I never meant to kill her. Maybe I did. Did I? But does it matter now? Did any of what I did matter? I left the team soon after what happened to Colton. After that, the school. What I've heard, Brian easily got accepted to university. He left town right after graduation. The fact that he's a star athlete with notable school record works like a charm. He's been growing... The idea of leaving Rose and Peak since his mom died. Living alone with his obnoxious dad didn't help much with it. being attached to his hometown. We never got to talk about it. Seriously, Brian didn't really want to. But every time he hinted about leaving, I tried so hard to ignore what it meant for me. Even though college posters all over the school were laughing at me, they were making, me f making fun of the impending doom. They were all saying, You see, you're gonna die alone here. Maybe I knew. I knew that B took an interest in Sam because she just a clueless new girl who was lonely enough to do anything for any guy who was But jealousy is a strong creature. It quickly devoured my mind. Soon anger took, took, took control of me. And I just needed someone to be mad at other than Brian. Even after he left me, anger stayed. It devoured me whole and again. But wake up for what? To be greeted by the fact that I must start running around in circles again? That I must stick needles into my body so I can forget my past for a few fucking minutes? Oh. <coughs> oh my god. I see. Just like that story Lasley once told us about. The shortest horror story in the world. The last man on earth heard a knock at the door. I'm alone in my room. I'm alone in this world. Someone knocking on the door. I don't know who it is, but I keep the door locked. No one comes in, no one goes out. I'm so tired, I just want it to end. Let's just wake up, let's just open the door. I don't care. Let's wait. What about my diary? The one I've been keeping to remind myself how I am the victim of everything that's happened? I don't know what I would do without it. What will keep me from going insane? Here comes the big question. Did I keep it? Uh, sure, buddy. Fuck it. I'm not giving up the only thing that's left for me. Nothing's my fault. I'm not letting go of anything ever- There? Oh, no. Hey, my walking so fucking slow. Hello?
Who the fuck was there? House is trash. <laughs> oh! Holy shit. That wow. Okay, I guess that's the game. Yeah, I guess so. I guess like uh you would get a different ending if like you chose a different option at the end there. That's <laughs> I slither on the ground, swallowing food like a snake because I'm a pog and too hard. That's what horror games and sudden endings. I don't know. Horror games just be like that sometimes. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit, it's really late. <laughs> Fine, I'll press continue. Horror game go boo and then poof. I mean, sometimes, like... Oh, this is how you can see the other ending. Okay, I see. We might as well do that. And then I'm, I'm going to find someone to raid. So we're going to skip all this because we already read all this. I'm not reading it all again. Should I keep it? No. No, it's time to admit. I've been keeping a memory of lies. I'm the only one to blame for the shit I have to deal with. It's about time I burned it. What right after that? I could open the door out of here. Face whatever's waiting for me. I could just stay with the fire and let go. However the choice, it's time to say goodbye. Burn the book! Burn the book! Oh shit! Burn my fucking face off, I guess! Oh, hi! I'm coming! I'm trying! Help! I can't run! Help! I died of smoke inhalation. Was finally over. My head was aching from the desperate pumping of my heart. My burning lungs sucked in air for what felt like an eternity. But I knew nothing was over. I need to get what's coming to me. Why is my model making so bad? Okay, told the police everything. I won't fix what I've done, but at least I finally got the closure I deserve. I know it doesn't mean anything now, but... Wow! What a interesting game! That was actually a lot of fun, I like that. At least we got to see both endings. I won. I won everything. I like that a lot. Um, I think it was- this game was only like five dollars, so that's like pretty damn good for five dollars. Two hours of gameplay? Yeah, that's about it. I won the game! Hoggies indeed. That was a lot of fun, and the story was very interesting. I got more and more into it as I went. Thank you for the head chat, Sam. Oh, that's it for love, Sam. Ow! Jojo, why? But we... Are gonna go find someone to raid now. See what's going on. See who's streaming out of our friendos. You know why? How dare? Uh, let us. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna go raid this person because we're actually gonna be collabing with this person on Friday, so it's gonna be pretty fun. So this Friday, I have a um, adult drink, uh, d Dead by Daylight, 
Drunk by Daylight stream this Friday. It's gonna be fun. But, so we're gonna be reading a hero! Hero's one of the people we'll be streaming with uh, this coming Friday. It'll be so much fun. So, raid message as always is eyeball raid. My emotes if you're subbed. If not, use whichever you see fit. And I'll see you guys most likely tomorrow. But um, I'll have to make sure I don't have anything coming up. Because my data pal, data pal is back. Uh, so I might be planning something with him. But anyways, uh, there's a Discord if you want to keep up to date when I'm streaming and what I'm streaming. Or just want to, you know, chill. There's my Discord, and then here's my YouTube. I'm so close to 1k on YouTube. So close, and I plan on doing some uh, streams there soon. Anyways, Eyeball Raid. Let's go show Hero some love. Bye for now. <laughs>